Kelly, Christopher Bow in the house. Chris, I would had I been across the world, I would have brought, I would have gotten a plane and made sure I was back. I wasn't missing this. I uh, missed your 90 days, but I got to come the night before and listen to your song that you had done, and I just want to say, wow. 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 Since the day you walked in, you've not only blown me away, but you've blown every single person that you've stood in front of. Yes. When we look at you, all we see is heart. Yes. There is a contagious faith and a contagious joy that you radiate like none other. Yes. When you walk into a room, consider the room under arrest. Yes. 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 Am I lying? No. Okay, let's make a show. There was a time that you were bald and now you got some hair. <laughs> <laughs> but never lose that joy that you continue to share with everybody else. Today, I, I give you Psalms 40 because this is what I see. It says, I waited patiently. And I've heard the men talk about patience all morning. Patience is what I call in the waiting. It's where God puts us so that he can work some stuff out, so he can remove some obstacles, so he can take care of some stuff and allow a healing to take place like never before. So patience is a good thing. And it says, as I waited patiently for the Lord, he turned to me and he heard my cry. Now in the King James Version, it says he actually heard my wail or weeping. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and the mire, and he set my feet on a rock. And he gave me a firm place to stand. And this is what I love. He put a new song. Yes. Can I give it up for the new song? Yes. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him because of the new song that is in your heart. I'm so proud of you. I'm so grateful for you. Here is your Damascus Woo! Road Recovery Center. Hey, this thing is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> thank you so much, Miss Susan. Uh, I just want to start off by saying that hey, God is good. How much? How much? Sometimes? All the time. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. To me, this really don't mean as much as what I got for my 90 days. Um, I heard, I was talking with Brian the other day, and he said, um, he said, yeah, I felt like a 90 day award really isn't, isn't all cracked up what it's supposed to be, but um, I just want to let you know, I'd rather get this again than get that again. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, um, this is our soul. You know what I'm saying? This is what we fight to get through your next night and what, and then this ain't gonna keep me sober. This is, you know what I'm saying? That's right, so, on my heart, I feel like, I got this again. <laughs> Forget the paper, I got this again. That's all I need. But I wanna thank, I wanna thank God for his love and his faithfulness, for never leaving my side and for giving me a new song. And um, I wanna thank um, Brother Charlie and Miss Pam because if it wasn't for his trials and tribulations, then we wouldn't have been able to have all, you know, all of this, the Masters Road and Jacob's Road Ministry, you know, big thanks to you. I know he's going to see it later. And Miss Pam for her wonderful desserts that she has. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Miss Susan. Thank you so much for, somebody say Miss Susan. Susan. We love you, Miss Susan. <laughs> Uh, she taught me so much. She taught me how to. Uh, she taught me how to use my heart, how to care for people, and uh, reach out. And that it's not all about me. And as much as that don't sound good, <laughs> yeah, it don't sound that good. But uh, she taught me to care for others and uh, be slow to speak and quick to hear. You know, and Robbie told me that plenty, many, many times. <laughs> and it's true. It really is. Um, I, it helped whenever I had Jonathan in my room. At, God told me. Um, I think it was in Job, he said, uh, if you would just be altogether quiet, that would be wisdom. <laughs> I said, really? <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> but it was, it really was. Um, 
I want to I wanna thank Asa and, and Miss Mandy for everything that they do. I'm so glad that I had him as my counselor. Thank you. <laughs> Asa, Asa's good. He brought like a, a structure and a business wise that I've never had before, a fatherhood that I never had before. Show me how, how I'm going to be able to act with my daughter, and I thought that was cool. Um, the Tillmans, Mama T and Patsy, they showed me a lot because they, they walked it out. I watched them, I lived with them, and, and all the other staff members too, they walked it out. And I see this and they preach and you know, it, it's crazy because it, you know, it means so much to me because I'm like, man, they really, they about the business. They, <laughs> they know what it is, you know, so as I watched them and it, it helped me grow. And um, I watched them do listening prayers with us. And I said, man, if they, they human just like me, I could do that too, you know? So I asked God and I kept, I went and asked Mama T to do a listening prayer with me. And I just, I caught little pieces, you know, they teaspoon you a little bit of the Bible, a little bit of the Bible and feed you so much until we could do it on our own, you know? And no, nothing mean about it, but I could do it myself. <laughs> so I could do it myself now, and, you know, I praise God for that. Um, but I just want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank Miss Tammy. I love you, Miss yeah. Tammy. <laughs> She's, she's like my little shooting star, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anytime I was in picking you, she always, you know, helped me out and talked to me when I was upset. Talked to me whenever I was always singing. Um, and Miss Liz, I love you so much, you and Demond. She was actually the first person I met out here in Mississippi. I was in jail, and I told her, I said, um, I said, y'all Mississippi folks are crazy. She said, she said, where you from? I said, from New Orleans. She said, y'all the crazy one. But she, she really, she, I heard her pray for me and you know, just look over me, and it meant so much. You know what I'm saying? I love you, Lieutenant Graham, Major Flowers, um, Mr. Flowers, all y'all really helped out, and Miss um, Miss Sarah for being an instrument of God to lead me here and bring me back to Him, you know, and put me on that rock. Amen. Um, and, and for my brothers, I thank y'all so very much, especially for the water y'all dumped me with, Corey. Way here. <laughs> thank you, Corey, for that. I look forward to that the whole six months. See so what we do here is, whenever you graduate, you get baptized again, you get a bucket of water on it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you <laughs> but really what it is, is it's about brotherhood and unity is what helped me out this Bible and all brothers that's in the program and if you just would be all together quiet it would help um, and I thought <clears throat> when you told Jonathan with Proverbs um, if you go back a little bit before that Proverbs 3 3 it says let love and faithfulness never never leave you and bind them around your neck and write them on the tablets of your heart that's an awesome scripture. I love that one. I gave that one to Brother Charlie. But um, everything's about love. Everybody say love. 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 I remember love. for my New Year's, I had, I had uh, Miss Susan says, what you want for you? What, what was your wish for New Year's? I said, I just want to love. I just, love, 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 love. <laughs> and she said, love covers multitudes. Well, I had to go and search and find it. And it was in 1 Peter um, 4, Where's verse your glasses, boy? Above all, love each other deeply. Because love covers multitudes of yes. sin. Yeah. And then even in 1 Corinthians, I ain't got to go back and say it. Somebody else, who was that? Uh, J-Rod brought it up? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it says love is the greatest of all. If you could just love. Yeah. Put your love yeah. first and then give that love to him. Because I wanted love so bad. I lost I lost the best friend and it was hard. It was a hard time in my life. But... It's better to love and lost than to never have loved at all. You know what I'm saying? And, and I know what love is, so I gave it my love. And Will, you told me about it. You said, that love you want to give to somebody else, just give that to God. Because he loved you that same way, and you never loved him back. And that touched my heart, brother. It really did. So I just um, I want to thank my weekend warrior, Will. Somebody say Will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and all the Devo leaders and stuff, too. But if y'all would, uh, if y'all would stand to your feet for a second for me, I got a little sound special. Y'all know I had. <laughs> but uh, if y'all would, if y'all would, I know y'all came here for a family member or you know a loved one, a cousin, nephew, a brother. Look over at him and say, "Lean on me." Lean on me. That's right. Lean on me. <laughs> Y'all know the words of the song, y'all can sing with me. <laughs> <laughs>